Hey guys, so I'm starting out with my eyes and I'm priming using MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Haven't used this in forever, so yeah, I just blended it out using my finger. Then I just took some of my rainbow tape and applied it to the outer corners of each eye. Then dipping into my Makeup Geek shadows, I'm taking Peach Smoothie first off on a Sigma E40 just as my transition shade. And then I'm going into the shade Frappe and I'm basically doing the same thing, it's just a darker brown. Then I'm taking the shade Cocoa Bear just on the same brush and just doing pretty much the same thing, blending it through the crease and in towards the inner corners of the eyes. Then I'm taking a little bit of the shade Chickadee, just a tiny bit, and I'm applying it to the very tops of where the other shadows are, just for a little bit of warmth. And then going in with the shade Bitten, which is like a matte kind of burgundy shade. I am using a 217 from MAC and I started to apply it in the outer corner and then into the inner corner and then in between I blended it out with my Sigma E40. So yeah, just packing it on in the outer corner and then in the inner corner. Then I dipped into the shade Corrupt which is a matte black and I started to apply it to the outer corners and then made my way to the inner corners and yeah I'm doing the same thing I did with the shade Bitten just using this a lot more softly because it is a black. Then I took my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC20 and I just started to kind of create a little halo in the middle of the eyeball. Um, it's so hard for me to get these even, so don't be harsh on me guys, I try my best. And then I used an E45 from Sigma with a little bit more of the shade Bitten on it, just to kind of blend out those edges. Then for the glitter, I used the Stila uh, Glitter and Glow Liquid Shadow in the shade Kitten. So yeah, just applied that to the area where I concealed. Then just adding a little bit more of Bitten into the outer corners and inner corners just to make sure everything was nice and blended. And the same with Corrupt because that did get kind of blended away, I just used that same E45 and added a little bit more. Then I took the Sigma Liquid Eyeliner Pen and I just created a winged liner. It is so hard with hooded eyes to do winged liner and have glitter on your lids without it transferring. I seriously struggled, but I, ugh, there's nothing I could do. Then I used this mascara from MAC. I cannot remember the name, but I will have it listed down below as always. And then for false lashes, I used these Model Rock Demi Wispies. Then moving on to the face, I primed using the MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light. Just applied it all over my face. And then for foundation, I used the NYX Covered Drops. I forget the proper name of them, but I, again, will have everything listed down below. And I just used a damp Rimmel sponge to blend it out. You can't actually buy these Rimmel sponges, but just any sponge will do. Just make sure it's damp. Then I just took a little bit more foundation after I blended everything out onto my cheeks just to add extra coverage. Then to cream contour, I'm using this Kryolan Combi Foundation Duo. I haven't used this in yonks, I used to use it all the time. So I'm taking the contour shade on a Nude by Nature BB brush and I'm just applying it to all the areas that I want contoured. And yeah, so applying it with this brush, but then I went in with the Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki to blend it all out. It's just a little bit easier and a little bit more seamless. So that is what I did. I did just go in with my beauty sponge once again though and make sure that all the edges were blended and that my contour was nice and sharp. Then first of all for my cheeks, I took this highlighter, it is a highlighter, I assume it's made for darker skin tones obviously, but I used it kind of as a blush, so I applied it to my sponge and then just applied it to my cheeks. And then to go on and conceal, I'm using the same concealer I used earlier, the MAC 
pro long wear oldie bit of goodie. This one's in NC20 and I just applied it underneath the eyes and then all down the center of the face and use the pointed edge of my sponge to blend everything out. To set everything in place, I'm using this Makeup Forever mattifying powder, I think it is. Um, so I baked underneath my eyes and then I just used a Sigma F25 for the rest of my face and then I did just brush that bake away after you know a couple of minutes I didn't leave it long to bronze up my skin and enhance my contour I took the MAC mineralized skin finish natural in dark deepest on a little eco tools mini precision blush brush and then once again just made sure everything was blended with my sponge and then for blush I'm using this NYX blush in the shade Summer, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this blush. And then for a highlighter, I use the MAC Mineral... What's it called? Soft and Gentle Highlighter. I can't remember the full name, but it's Soft and Gentle. So I highlighted my cheekbones and then my cupid's bow, tip of my nose, my chin, the bridge of my nose, and then above the arches of my eyebrows. And then to set everything down and give myself a glow, I just, use, I just use the Fix Plus in pink light. I'm stumbling over my words. Back onto the eyes, I took a little bit more of the Bitten shade on my E45 and just blended that underneath the lower lash line. And then I went in with a bit of Corrupt on a Sigma E15 brush, which is just like a flat definer brush. And I just basically took this along my lower lash line to make it thicker. And I did go over my liquid liner with this as well to try and take away some of the glittery fall down. And then I just took my 217 with no product and blended everything out. And then I went in with some more of the Stila Kitten shade. And I just applied it to the inner third of the lower lash line for a bit of a sparkle. Then I used the Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil in my waterline. And for my lower lashes, I used the same MAC Mascara, but I used the little tiny wand that comes in the top, which is amazing for lower lashes. And then to highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I used the pigment in Vanilla from MAC. And then finally for lips, I lined them using this Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade East End Snob. And it's such a pretty pink. I love it. And then to fill them in, I used a MAC lipstick in the shade Angel, which is a frost, but it does not look like overly frosty. And that completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.